Now, you want to impress your friends and cook some delicious at home. I get it. And it can be pretty hard and complicated. But I will show you how easy it can be to make a restaurant dish at home with not that much effort. It might take a day, but the results are amazing. I will show you how to make a cured salmon with an apple salad and a lovely lemon yogurt uh, cream on top of it. So while we're still talking, let's start cooking. Now I slice it in half just so that I have a right portion that I would like right away. And then I make also a nice clean cut with taking the skin off. You don't need to cut it in half just to take the skin off. But for me, it is just about the proportion right away as well. Now, what you want to do then as well is cut a little bit of the white off, which then creates a more rectangular shape of the fish. So up next, we're going to cure it. And how you're curing is, is by covering the fish with a salt and sugar mixture. It's about 100 grams of sugar with 50 grams of salt. And just make sure that everything is covered and leave it in the fridge for 24 hours. So then we go to the next component. It is Greek yogurt in this case. And I mix it already with some lemon juice for some freshness. And it breaks down more of the yogurt so that it releases more liquid. We wanted to make it nice and sturdy. So what we're going to do is put it in a cheesecloth and just hang it overnight so that all the liquid the excessive liquid comes out of it and then we get a much more sturdier or more solid uh, texture so that we can make it nicer on the plate. Up next is something that is just nice as a garnish. What goes pretty well with salmon is of course some fresh apples. So what we're going to do is just cut some apple and cut it in some nice small cubes that we can garnish as something nice and fresh on top of it. So now that the yogurt has been hanging for 24 hours or at least overnight and most of the liquid is out, we will add a little bit of fresh lemon juice to make it a little bit more loose so that you can actually make the dots as well as and a little bit of lemon zest as well to make it a little bit more fresh. Yes, this coming with it. Now you don't need to do this step, but I add just a little bit of finely chopped dill and some chives just to give a little bit green to it and a little bit of extra flavor. It's not needed necessarily, but it gives a nice additional taste to it. For the finishing touch and this will be just slicing the salmon now how you slice it is just take a sharp knife and slice it on a 45 degree angle it can be a little bit you know more like 35 as well and it creates nice long slices like you would usually see with sashimis or with sushi in general and there is nothing more to it than that once this is done you are ready to play them. this it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward I just put the salmon slices a little bit over each other at the bottom of the plate put the apple nice in the line on top of it and around it I just make that delicious fresh yogurt dots on top of it so that you can eat everything nicely together 
Now I would like to thank you all for watching and I hope you will have a delicious meal out of it. And I would say if you do, please enjoy and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.